Hey guys, it's Chuck with Bayou Bug Knots and Tools, and I just wanted to do a little quick unboxing video. Uh, a friend of mine, David, uh, sent me a uh, package, and uh, I know what most of the contents in the box are, but I'm not sure of everything. Um, but I told him I would do an unboxing video because, uh, you know, I'm, I can't wait to open this up. I've been waiting for it, but. Um, Anyway, I just, just received it, and uh, David, as you watch this, uh, you can see uh, the box came damaged, uh, so hopefully nothing in the box was uh, is missing, so, you know, if there is, I'll take it by the post office and, and everything, so, and I'll use this video as evidence. The mail lady came and brought it, and, and I placed it on the back porch just like this, so. Anyway, it looks like it got caught up in something. But anyway, unboxing video, and, and I appreciate it, David. Uh, like I said, I, I know what most of the contents are going to be in this box, but uh, not fully 100%. So, all right, well, let's get this uh, show on the road. Appreciate the good packing, uh, David. I can use that for uh, some of my packing material somewhere down the road. Wow. <laughs> I see some extras here. All right, let's take the side. Let's take all of this out of the box. Oh yeah, you got some business cards here. Some stuff that he's done. Wow, David. <laughs> This is uh this is awesome, bro. Yeah, that's that's all in the box there. All right, so uh, one of the things that I enjoy doing is uh, some fly fishing, and uh, I've got some little notes on there. Uh, favorite side, enjoy it, Chuck. Uh, Northeast fly tires, rod builders. All tied by David. We even got it signed there, and uh, you can see his card he put on there. Let me encourage you to, you know, go check his uh, Facebook group out and his uh, his uh, site and stuff like that. I'll have a link for it in the comment section below. But uh, you know, uh, get with David if you're into fly fishing. Uh, like I said, I am. I enjoy it. I don't get out and, and do it as much as uh, I used to, but it's a, a favorite pastime that my great-grandfather uh, got me into. So, uh, I don't know. Here's uh, some flies that David's done. Wow. That is uh, beautiful, guys. I don't know if you can see this it's like a little streamer it's got a lot of little small flies in here and I don't know what the pattern names or anything like that so please don't ask me uh, you can ask David but uh, some of these are, are weighted some of these are for uh, bass uh, some of these are for trout some of these are for panfish so um, you know the difference in in species and stuff, but you can see here he's uh he's done a crawfish fly, and uh, I gotta say, David, this is the first time I've ever seen one a crawfish fly like this, and uh, this is this is really awesome. I, I can see this thing getting hammered uh, quite a bit, so. Uh, I hope y'all can see the assortment of flies in there. Can I get a look around? Very beautiful work. Very, very nice. Um, 
So that's uh, one one side of container. And uh, here we have uh, some more. Oh wow. Y'all can see that. It's beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, larger size of that fly. Oh wow. Looks like a, well I guess that would be a little crawfish, yeah, that's what it looks like, a little crawfish pattern. At first I kind of thought it was, uh, looked like a wasp or something like that. Oh wow. Now this is really cool guys. Looks like a, I don't know, kind of looks like a frog in a way. Uh, I'm not sure what this pattern is, so so David, you're gonna have to uh, help me with some of these patterns. <laughs> uh, oh no, this kind of looks like a little wasp or something. No, I don't think it is a wasp. Looks like it, some kind of bug. These these really look good. I mean, uh, really nicely tied. Really nicely tied. I've tied some in the past, but. Uh, nothing to this quality very nice David very nice all right so let's see what else we got here I'm gonna have to all right all of these are Dave's special flies that's what he has on the on the uh, on the container there Dave's special flies so uh, I'm looking forward to those got a little spoon Snapper Zapper Lure. Uh, you don't see these used uh, too much uh, down here in the south. Uh, I've used them in the river and, and done pretty well. They kind of imitate a, a minnow or something. Then a little Rick Klun uh, Classics Lure. Uh, that would be good for a crappie down here or a little small panfish. We catch them on. Uh, we got some plastic baits here. Uh, looks like some some crawfish. That's what it looks like. Yeah, some little crawfish. So those will definitely come in in handy. I like to use those as a trailer on a spinner bait or something like that, or even on a on a jig. Those uh, those work good. And uh, uh, some gambler lures, hurricane crawl. I'm not going to open them up because they're sealed, but uh, you can kind of see the pattern there. All right, so here's the big box, and I sure appreciate you sending these in a in a box, David. I, I really do, brother. I appreciate that very much. Wow! Wow! Uh, my special fly. Uh, that is a beautiful streamer. I don't know if y'all can see. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful work. Mm. Oh, wow, David. Wow. This is like awesome. You do some amazing work. Guys, the quality of this, it looks like it was bought out of a store. I mean, the quality of craftsmanship into that. I don't know if you can really see that, but I mean, it is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Little mouse or something here. Oh, wow. A little foam front yeah I can see this getting tore up mm. fish tearing this this up this is nice nice work wow mm. wow 
little streamers and stuff like this. Beautiful, beautiful work. Wow, David, I am just so impressed, man. I mean, this is... Wow. I don't know if y'all can see that, guys, but that is amazing. Like I said, some of you may be into fly fishing, and uh, some of you know, you know, uh, the quality of flies. Uh, this is this is like over and beyond. I mean, this is quality work. If you're looking for some awesome uh, flies and stuff, you know, give give uh, David a a ring. Oh yeah, these are these are really nice. Good panfish flies here, and some bass flies. I hope I'm not getting them tangled up anymore in this uh, in the hooks and stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to pull the stuff out on that one, so I'll wait and and uh, work with it a little bit slower. I think some of the strands have gotten caught up in the barbs. Uh, very, very nice. A lot of detail uh, in in this. All of the uh, heads on here uh, sealed, real nice. Um, I mean, just absolutely uh, perfect work. I mean. I've seen a lot of flies tied in uh, in my time, and uh, I gotta say, uh, these are probably the best I've ever seen. I mean, really, I, I've seen a lot of flies. I've sat and watched uh, some of the guys in like Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop and their fly shops and stuff, uh, fly ties. Uh, uh, but these uh, these are way way ahead above those that I've seen. Nice uh, streamers. Uh, these get pulled through the water kind of quick. These like bait fish type flies. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, another thing of special flies here. Wow. Yeah, I've seen some of these patterns before. Uh, I have a box of my great-grandfather's flies that, that he tied while he was still alive. And, and I'm seeing uh, some, of, some of those uh, patterns in, in here, just like this one, if I can, if I can get it out. Uh, yeah. absolutely beautiful work I mean the detail is just amazing this actually <laughs> that one David is pretty cool if you actually tied the Solomon bar on that 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 looks really good uh, how you implemented uh, some of the knot tying into that 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 is really cool uh, I just caught that. That's what it looks like to me, and I could be wrong. Uh, it's even in this pattern as well. So that's a good little thing, you know. Some some guys uh, probably don't do that, but that's just some more uh, amazing flies in there. I'm not going to take them all out, but uh, let's kind of go through uh, some more of these real quick. Uh, this is a nice... Uh, little mouse I guess uh, that would be thrown up in the lily pads and it's got a a uh, piece of monofilament on the bottom to keep it snag proof a uh, little jigs uh, these these are great and uh, it's got
got a, a weighted head on it. Uh, so these are great for crappie and uh, pan fishing down here. Uh, wow. Like I said, I'm just, look at this popper, guys. I mean, that is just amazing. Wow. I can, I'm going to spend a few hours uh, looking through this. Indicators. Now that's something that I'm not familiar with, so uh, oh, I know that's an, <laughs> a, a novice amateur thing, uh, but indicators, I'll have to find out what that is, but thanks David for, for that. Uh, there's a there's a lot of flies in here, uh, a lot of flies, and David, I appreciate every one of them. I know uh, you spent a lot of time uh, working on these uh, and getting them to me. Look at that, another another jig. Uh, beautiful, beautiful work. Beautiful work. I know these will come in handy uh, for some. Uh, cropping and here's some even more flies uh, that he's done absolutely amazing work absolutely amazing and and it just more and more beautiful I don't know if y'all can see that Absolutely beautiful. Now if I can learn the name for all of these patterns and, oh, look at this little, it's like a little beetle. Let me get it out of there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> all right, well, I, I know this video has gone a few minutes now and uh, we're almost reaching the 20 minute mark uh, but I, I felt like uh, this was a wonderful uh, thing that David uh, sent me and I wanted to share it with y'all. Uh, like I said, I'll have his uh, information uh, posted in the comment section and uh, like I said, if, if you're into fly fishing or rod building or anything, you know, in that line, he builds custom fly rods. Uh, he redoes the eyes on fly rods. He does uh, some amazing stuff. Uh, but check his Facebook page out. Uh, get in contact with him. He's a really nice guy. He's uh, a uh, military vet. He's a Marine uh, that uh, is a disabled Marine vet. Uh, super guy and uh, like I said he does uh, also does uh, paracord work knot tying and stuff like that uh, this is just uh, another uh, thing that that he enjoys uh, doing uh, but but check his stuff out and if you can support him I, I know that he would uh, greatly appreciate it and again David I, I, I appreciate uh, all of these uh, wonderful flies that you've uh, put together for me uh, they will go uh, go to good use and uh, as soon as I catch some fish on them I'll definitely post some pictures of that um, and I'll have uh, have your package in the mail uh, this week to you so anyway guys uh, like I said if you can uh, check out David and uh, his Facebook group and his page if you can support him uh, please do so uh, that's his card again like I said I'll uh, place his information in the in the uh, contact section under the comments all right well uh, y'all appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I have some more that will be uh, coming real soon I have some uh, new products coming out uh, as far as uh, marlin spikes and stuff uh, so be on the lookout for those also going to be doing a, a special uh, contest uh, giveaway 
So uh, just a few things coming down the line. So appreciate the time that you've uh, taken to watch this video, and, and uh, y'all have a, a great afternoon.